There's no such thing as a typical day on Shogun, <laughs> as uh, many will attest to. My name is Lauro Chartrand Del Valle. I'm a second unit director and stunt coordinator. It's really been a diverse show for action, and, and that's what's making me love it so much. We've got everything from a little cut somebody's head off, and right up to uh, 30 guys fighting in a battle sequence, or ships in the sea and during a storm, and guys falling overboard. And, you know, I haven't even started talking about the sword fight yet. Lalo was a great coordinator, and I worked with him in The Last Samurai. So it was a nice reunion. We called some stunt guys who is a specialist for sword fighting and everything samurai ways. And then we had a boot camp. The guys had to learn samurai movement. We brought experts from Japan to come participate and train our actors. Our producer and star, Hiro Sonata, took a big part of that, ensuring that it passes muster with him. And the ladies also <laughs> have to learn a lot of things. This scene is Mariko when she's 18 and she's having a Naginata competition. For this particular scene, she has a sparring match in front of everybody. Anna catches on really well. She's really athletic and agile, and, you know, she's very humble about it. She's like, oh, no, I can't do that. In 15 minutes, she's got it. So, you know, I see, yes, you can. You can do it really well. So we give her plenty to play with. In 109, when Anna or Mariko is trying to leave Osaka Castle, we have a huge battle. All the sword fights are maximum five moves. It's like a quick game of chess. Somebody's gonna mess up right away. And it just comes down to one last guy that's doing the best that he can to help her get out, and he loses his head. So then it's all up to her. And, you know, basically she's like, bring the Naginata. <laughs> There's no fancy stuff. It's not Hollywood. It's real. It's cut and kill. We had an assassination attempt sequence where an assassin came into Tornaga's quarters and was trying to kill Blackthorn and ended up fighting with Tornaga. And it was just so much fun even just rehearsing it because rehearsal is when you test everything, right? And we build the room with boxes. And we'll do one or two days of just shooting the scene with all the action that's involved. So when we get there to shoot, it's, it's already laid out. We've got a, a great horse team. I go out to the stables with them and with the actors and with the stunt guys, and we work with them, and, and we get them tuned into it. And it was my first time riding a horse, or even maybe being close to a horse. Um, but I instantly fell in love with them. You know, at first, uh, we practiced on horse riding in Japan uh, before I came here. But I practiced with Yuki and Anna. That is a great, wonderful experience for me. It's such a magical thing to be able to work with these creatures and build that relationship. It's just like working with anyone else, like a human being. The other one that really stands out is when we did the cannon shot. So they stuffed chain into these cannons and they shot it and took out a dozen samurai. What we did is basically I put them all on ratchets and I picked them in different places. And by picking them, I mean I hooked the wire up to them. One would be up high on their back, one would be on their leg, one would be on their hip. So that if the chain hit him in the leg, we would tie a ribbon around there and then visual effects will take that leg off and post. So we had horses crashing and guys flying and they already told me it's, it's looking spectacular. The visual stimulation they're gonna get from this show in every aspect, they're gonna have a wild ride. It's gonna be full on entertainment. <laughs>